The third step uh, has to do with uh, our monetary policy portfolio, which is much larger. And as you know, there is only a portion of that which is in corporate, um, corporate asset purchases. It's roughly, take it or leave it, 200 billions relative to over 2 trillions for the entire um, asset purchase program. I think on that, the strategy is going to have to review what, it can, what, what, what the bank can do, should do, uh, how much it collides with the mandate. And if so, I think we should, we should very expressly say so. But if it doesn't, I'm giving you a for instance. It's not something that has been opined upon, that has been considered at all. But you know, you can you can look at uh, what uh, ESG, for instance, criteria are respected by the issuers. You can assess the value of collaterals in order to determine what is the risk associated with collaterals and so on and so forth. So those are just you know a few areas. In addition to that, there is work also that is ongoing uh, in various departments at the ECB to make sure that the climate risk is actually embedded in the work that they do in terms of risk assessment, uh, in terms of uh, models, in terms of uh, their forecast. Um, and, and, you know, this is work in progress.